Before we pray for the Chief Justice as she's coming up, Bishop F. Kiru, please come and pray for her also. Ladies and gentlemen, our Chief Justice is a follower of Jesus. She is a disciple of Jesus. And God placed her in such a time like this. But she needs our prayer. If you know what's going on, in the political side, in what's happening to the government, we, you and I need to pray for her. The opposition is unbelievable. And the truth is we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. So I would like all of you to stand up, please. And I'm going to ask Bishop F to pray for our Chief Justice. And everybody, do you mind raising your hand upward, and really pray from your heart for God to protect her, give her wisdom and courage, and above all, help her to gain the favor also of the other justices. Shall we do that? All right. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come before you and would like to continue to uphold our Chief Justice, Maria Lourdes Sereno. We thank you for how you have placed her in this position, uh, being able to steward the judicial branch of our government, not only, for a, not only for a short time, but for 18 years. We know it is an answer to prayer that you have placed her in such a position. We thank you that as you have placed her in such a, a position, your presence, your power, your goodness will be upon her. Lord God, we know that uh, there are so much pressure, opposition from others that she has bypassed, but it is not her who bypassed her. It was you who bypassed them. It was you who appointed that she will be the chief justice of this land at this moment. In order to bring reforms, in order to bring um, transformation in our judicial branch of the government. We pray that you will continue to grant her the wisdom, the guidance, the strength that comes from you. We pray for your protection for her life, the family, and all others that are close to her. We pray that as she continues to serve you as your servant in the judicial system of our government, you will be the one to uplift her you will be the one to grant her the wisdom, the favor that she needs. Father, we pray that you will be the one to cause her to have the favor of all other justices of this nation. We do thank you that we trust, you know, some people trust in chariots, some people trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And though, so we thank you for how you will be the one to turn their hearts to you, and through the witness of Chief Justice, they will see your hand upon her life. They will see the purity of her heart. They will see the, the unequivocal conviction to honor and please the greatest just, justice of all, and that is you, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We continue to ask that your favor will be upon her, and that in the many years that she will be serving as Chief Justice, you will use her to bring about that real transformation in the judicial system of our land that it will reflect the laws and the standard and the desires that comes from you. Again, we commit her to you that your favor, goodness will be upon her as she continues to serve you in this particular ministry that you have entrusted unto her. We pray this with much confidence and thanksgiving in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We are, I'm going to request the Chief Justice to say a few words. Thank you. Please take your seats. This uh, will only be few, but I don't want you to be unduly exhausted from this very meaningful, but I know time-intensive Congress. Uh, fellow Christians from all over the world, it is my pleasure to be here with you 
this morning, and I know how significant this global movement to plant more churches is. And to each of us, followers of Christ, Christ has been given a particular role in life. Mine is to be a voice in public service. Pray that Christians in our government stand up like Daniels, with lives that cannot be faulted. except for how they worship God. May we stand up to the strictest scrutiny, not because of our merits and our own righteousness, but because of the overing power, overpowering presence of God in our lives. May how we serve be the measure of how the sacrificial service that the Lord requires of His servants be manifested in everything we do. Please pray that Christians in government walk two miles, even though they are only being asked to walk a mile, to carry more load than the others can bear, to show how the heart of Christ responds to the needs of humanity. But please, always, that in everything we do, whether we are in the government service or we are in the private sector, let our hearts be focused only on the things above, not on things on earth. Because our lives have really passed already from death to life. And this life, actually, this world, cannot offer the Christian anything. His reward is entirely in the Father's hands, preserved for Him from eternity past so that he may forever enjoy the presence of God in eternity future. So I thank you very much, and I wish you much success. My prayers are with you. I thank you for the covering of prayer you have given me and my family. Thank you, because as everyone in the Philippines knows, the story of my life is the story of God enabling an impossible position, to be occupied by a lowly child of His. An impossible position, an impossible mission. <laughs> to be empowered only and to be successful only because we have a God to whom nothing is impossible. <laughs> so I thank you very much. I wish all of you a pleasant stay for those who have come from outside the country in Manila. Of course, we entrust each other's lives into each other's care. And I'm very happy that for the foreign delegates, you are with the church of Pastor Peter Tanchi. God bless you, and I thank you very much for this opportunity.